Lab. Well, good day and welcome back to the Lighthouse Lab. Did you know an important job of scientists and engineers is identifying a situation or problem people are facing, researching and understanding the problem, then defining and testing a solution. Solutions are then evaluated and improved over time. Well, today is your turn to be a scientist. You and your friends are going to provide a solution to a real-world problem people are facing around the globe. Coastal erosion. Coastal erosion is the wearing away of land and the removal of beach or dune sediments by wave action, currents, tides or wind-blown sand. Coastal erosion shapes our coastal areas. It provides natural beauty but at times can present significant problems for people. Today, we're heading about 1,800 kilometres south of the Lighthouse Lab to a small coastal town in Victoria called Port C. Port C is known for its beautiful ocean beaches, rugged cliffs and long stretches of sand. Over millions of years, a combination of large waves, strong tides and strong winds have been changing the shape of Port Sea's coastline. Over the past 10 years, however, one of Port Sea's most visited beaches, Port Sea Pier, has all but washed away and the coastline is now dangerously close to its neighbouring houses. A solution was designed and implemented to slow erosion and protect the coastline. But the people of Port C are not impressed, and I can see why. It looks horrible. With mainland Australia being one of the biggest islands in the world, we're pretty used to coastal erosion. And scientists and engineers have come up with some innovative solutions. We've built seawalls and jetties. Sandbars, artificial pools and walls can be constructed to deflect, slow down and reduce the size of incoming waves. Vegetation and retaining walls can be used to hold sand and soil in place. Paths, tracks and fences ensure people explore the coastline in a safe way and don't contribute further to weathering and erosion. Signs can also be used to inform visitors about ways to reduce human impact on the coastline. So getting back to the problem in Port C, the residents here are looking for a solution that brings back the natural beauty of the coastline. A solution that allows people to use the Port C beach for fishing, swimming, sightseeing and long coastal walks. So get together with your friends, put your heads together and see if you can find a way to save and restore the Port C Pier Beach. Show your solutions to others and find ways it can be improved. At the end of this video, I'll show you my solution. Here's some tips when designing and modeling your solution. Ask questions. Gather information and make observations to define the problem. Identify what should be included in the solution. Develop simple sketches, drawings, or physical models to represent your solution. Evaluate the effectiveness of your solution by presenting it to others for feedback. Refine and improve your solution based on feedback received. Oh yeah, my solution you ask. Well, I got rid of those ugly sandbags. I put a line of rocks offshore to reduce the impact of waves, especially at high tide. I put in a concrete swimming pool so people can swim during summer and winter if you're brave enough. 
There's also a sandy beach exposed at low tide. I included an elevated walkway with benches and dense vegetation to hold the sand and soil in place. And finally, I included a walkway and lookout for sightseeing and fishing. How does your solution compare to mine? Can you think of some ways I can improve my solution? Have fun and I'll see you again soon in the Lighthouse Lab. Thank you.